Push it up now, Ackley. Carrots and onions. I think it'll cure your pimples. Keep my bowels open anyways. Instrument, Major. I'm going to zap that goddamn gook. Which gook, sir? Cowboy. He had a prisoner stuck in the water jug again. Well, can't shoot that goddamn gook, sir. He knows English and French and Chinese and 75 via dialects. I can shoot him. I can shoot him and his goddamn dialects. Thank you, Quan. I didn't give him a combat infantryman's badge. Why not? New regulation from Saigon. You gotta have 30 days under fire. I've only got 22. Well, I guess you'll have to get out in the field, Al, and kick a little ass, huh? When, sir? When I don't need you here anymore. What's the new map? We got a query from Saigon about some crummy hamlet called Muckwats in this map plot here. What do they want? Complete position paper. Oh, shit. Too goddamn many static defense posts as it is. That's what happened to the French. They got themselves tied down on static defense. What do we know about this, this muck stuff? Muck what? Hey, sir. Hey, sir. Jesus Christ. What is the topic? The replacements are here. Close the door a minute. Make up a position paper, Al. Yeah, yeah. Tell them that Muckfuck has about... Muckwah. Muckwah. Muckwah has about 200 people. Mostly old men, women, and children. No cargo activity there for years. Severe drought conditions. No water for troops. Uh, it's on a river, sir. Well, fix it up. In the opinion of this command, this hamlet is of no strategic significance whatsoever. Dead shipper. Toffee. Toffee! Yes, sir. You got their papers? Yes. Hamilton, Raymond, second lieutenant. What the hell are they sending as second lieutenants for? All right, Toffee, show the... Yes, sir. Show the officer in. Yes, sir. Okay, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Hamilton, sir. I'm Major Barker, Captain Olivetti, the exec. Well, Lieutenant. Sir! Relax, kid, sit down. Thank you, sir. How old are you, Lieutenant? 23, sir. Still a second. What the hell do they expect us to do with you? We don't have any slots for second lieutenants. Send me into the field, sir. I feel I can kill communists as well as any first lieutenant, sir. Well, let's not rush things. Why did you volunteer for Vietnam? Well, sir, I feel that if my country is at war, it's my duty to fight for it. All right, Lieutenant. We'll see if we can't find a slot for you. Thank you, sir. Changed that much? God damn it. Mr. Barker. <laughs> Captain Alavetti, exec. How do you do, sir? How are you? Olio and I served in Korea. Kept my butt from being shot off more than once. Well, he was a pretty good officer, too, sir. Officer didn't have to be very good with men like Olio. Where are you been stationed? South, sir. Delta. Harry? Oh, Jesus. I tell you, sir. I had three teams shot out from under me. How's it up here, sir? Harry, sometimes. The casualties aren't too bad. That's good, sir. We'll find something for you, Olio. Thank you, sir. It's nice to be in your command again, sir. Put him in charge of weapons training with those water puffs. I can use them in the field.
you burnt out, Al. Let him rest. Next. Lincoln, sir. Abraham. Yes, sir. Well, we can use a good back sheet, Corporal. It says here you've been serving the dispensary in Saigon. Yes, sir. Been out in the field much? Not much, sir. Why not? They don't sign me, sir. All right, Corporal. That's all. Abraham Lincoln. How'd you like to go through a life with a moniker like that, huh? One of the poor bastards looks like he's caved in. What'd I do with him? A sign of the clap control. Corporal Stephen Dorsey, college graduate. Draftee. This one's a draftee, Al. Demolitions training. Well, that's SOP. Charlie blew up everything around here ten years ago. Next! What's your name, soldier? Oh, sorry, Corsi, sir. What are you doing here? Sir? In Vietnam, you volunteered. Sir, if I had to be a soldier, I wanted to be in the roughest, toughest outfit in the U.S. Army, sir. Well, that's fine, Corporal. But that adds six months to your draft hitch, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Now, look, Corporal, I'm going to ask you once again what you're doing here. And don't give me any of that crap about the roughest, toughest outfit in the U.S. Army. Does it matter, sir? Point is, I'm here of my own choosing, sir. All right, Corporal. Dismissed. Now, what right does a fucking draftee have to volunteer for anything? Or second lieutenants? What do you want me to do with them, sir? Put my mosquito patrol? What else? Corporal, got plenty of insect repellent on your faces? Yes, sir. You don't have any on your arms, do you? No, sir. All right, Lieutenant. Quartermaster people in Saigon got to have this information. They got established priorities for mosquito netting and insect repellent. Yes, sir. You don't have to salute all the time, Lieutenant. Not out here in the boonies. Thank you, sir. Okay, Corporal, follow me. Not yet. Tuffy. Yeah, Major. Any traffic from Monktau? Uh, yeah, they're asking for the flare ships. I told them they ought to be up there in a few minutes. Charlie's on the front again. Oh, damn it, I want to see those flares. Nighthawk Control must have Monktau running out of his ears. They flew 44 hours in there last week. Screw Nighthawk. I want that fucking jungle lit up. Tuffy, yeah. send a signal to Nighthawk. There they go, sir. Forget it, Tuffy. Yeah. OK. Now they can kick that little mother's ass. Firefight out there somewhere. That's where I want to be. Well, we have our own duty to perform, Corporal. Uh, you count this time, I'll expose you. Oh, that's okay. I'll do it. No. I never ask my men to do anything I won't do myself. <laughs> okay, time. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. 30 seconds, sir. OK, count.
I get 23, sir. They really sing you, don't they? Maybe we'll get a Purple Heart. <laughs> I don't think that's very funny, Corporal. Okay, let's get moving. We've got four more stations run tests on. I'm a polo, I'll kill you. It's altogether fitting and proper. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm telling you that I'm a polo won't do you no good. It's the last full measure of shit. You bet it is. How long have you been on the hip? Four score and seven. Yeah, well, sweet dreams, Abraham Lincoln. Berries from the earth, sir. That means fuck off. You make your inspection while I power with Major Barker. Sergeant Alianowski. Sir. See the captain has access to anything he wishes to see. Yes, sir. This way, sir. Now you're meant to wear those tiger striped Frenchified fatigues. Strictly unauthorized in this command, aren't they? Well, sir, I like to allow them in some freedom in the field, sir. For the sake of a spree, you know. A spree? French word, I believe, isn't it? I believe so. You know what happened to the French in this country? They got the shit kicked out of them. And that's not going to happen to the U.S. Army, is it? No, sir. All right, Azer. Mukwa. Sir? Mukwa. Let's see the coordinates with Mukwa. Oh, it's on the wall. Where is it, Al? Well, I took it down, sir. We'll put it up. I sent in a position paper, sir, to intelligence as requested. I read your position paper. Put it over here. Yes, sir. It said Mukwa has a population of 200. Read according to other information, Mukwa hasn't been inhabited since 1953. You didn't reconnoiter Mukwa. I know your style, Azen. Everybody knows your style. You're a good field officer, but you are inclined to have it your own way. General, I don't have the people. My command is spread thinner than the hairs on a baby's ass. I'm sure you can do it, Aza, if you put your mind to it. Because here's the situation. Mukwa was abandoned by the French in 1953. Shortly thereafter, they lost the highway from here to the sea. And Penang fell with 2,000 defenders. Well, now, we wouldn't want to repeat the mistakes of the French, would we? We want Mukwa reoccupied in garrison. And that's your job, Aza. Cut the mustard, Hazen, and don't fuck around with it. Just cut it. I'll do my best, sir. Fine. I'll be watching.
Oh, Hardnuts lays it on you, doesn't he, sir? Yeah, well, I used to be his commanding officer. Shoot his ass out. As for ass out. How many goats you got working in that canal? Uh, about 30, sir, but Jesus. You heard the general. Garrison Mukwa. Give him shotguns and sprinkle a few machine gunners among them. Just in case Charlie should get interested. Okay. And this new garrison will be established here at Buckwall. And you, Hamilton, will be in command. Sir, I'm just a sucker. I know, but I've been keeping my eye on you. I've tested your leadership abilities on the Mosquito Patrol, and I'm convinced that you're the man for Mukwan. I'm recommending you for promotion. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, according to standing operating procedures, we should have an Arvin officer to lead the Viet troops. But we're short of Arvin officers. And in lieu of that, I've assigned Sergeant Duyen. He's a fine interpreter, and he'll be a big help to you. Major, I say this to you. Knock it off. You are also fortunate, Lieutenant, in having Sergeant Olyanovsky on your team. He's an old hand in them, and I advise you to lean heavily on his judgment. Yes, sir. I'm also giving you Corporal Ackley as your signal man, and Corporal Lincoln as your medic, both experienced men. Corporal Corsi will act as your weapon specialist. My primary is demolition, sir. Good. And now, Lieutenant, your troops will be moved by truck to a point on the inland highway about a half hour's march into Mukwa. Captain Olivetti will brief you as to the time and organization of your departure. Any questions? Sir? Yes? Sir, I feel I have a fine team here. And I'm sure I speak for all my men. We appreciate this opportunity to fight for our country, sir. Very well said, Lieutenant. That's all, men. Olianowski, please remain for a few minutes. Thank you, sir. Goop Company is a bunch of paddy farmers, sir. I saw them being mustered. They got shotguns. Jesus Christ, sir. This garrison, this Mukwa. No reason for Charlie to be there. In fact, Charlie hasn't been reported within 50 miles of the site. Any place we turn up, sir, Charlie turns up. You know that, sir. Olio, I'm giving you a squad of crack mercenaries as insurance, just in case you do contact the cop. Okay? Okay, Major. That's all. Shit. Patton's going to make a speech to his troops. Men, we have been ordered to march into the jungle. Where we will establish a fortress for liberty and justice. They laugh about uh, Say please much, sir. You sure? Certainly. Things laugh all the time, Lieutenant. Don't let it bother you. Well, that's enough, then. Shotgun! 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 What are they doing? Stirring them up. They're saying kill communists.
guilty. I still don't know what the hell he's doing here. that roadblock. Me? You're a demolitions man, aren't you? Tripwire. Off to the left. Cowboy. Yes, sir. Charlie's in a hidey hole. Get him. Langia. Langia. See him? See him? Take care of this prisoner's load. Sergeant, you think he's the only one out there? Yes, sir. They'll uh, throw up a roadblock, leave one man behind to blow it when somebody moves it. He could have been squatting out there for three or four days. Ackley? Yes, sir. Get a signal off to Penang. Report this incident, the time and location. Sergeant Nguyen, I want you to question the prisoner. Name, where he's from, where his friends are. Won't do any good, Lieutenant. He won't say anything. They never do. Dengue Madontia. Dengue Madontia. Dengue Madontia. Dengue Madontia. That's enough, Sergeant. Okay, let's move out. Lieutenant, give him something for his stomach. 
You nailed to the ground, Corsi. Go puke with the lieutenant. Where am I gonna puke? It's their war, Corsi. Lieutenant, road to Mukwa. Hellboy, flankers out. Side door's out. Ben Jai Mo, Ben Jai Mo. Detail five men to set up the rear guard with Corsi. Bongo and I, Tung Lei Shao. Adria? Corsi. Bowlet, Bowlet. Your rear guard advisor. Wait a minute, how am I supposed to advise him? Stay 100 yards behind us, keep looking over your shoulder. Anything moves back there, zap it. Cowboy, set um, the point. Mighty door, mighty door. This way. <laughs> Sergeant the Yen, give the order to move out. Delay, 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 delay. Let's go, man. That goddamn roadblock wasn't there yesterday afternoon at 5 o'clock. The scout plane cased that route for 75 clicks. Maybe they just accidentally decided to block that route. Shit, the VC doesn't do anything accidentally. They knew that convoy was coming. They know everything we're going to do. We don't know what damn thing they're going to do. Hey, Major, a distribution packet from Saigon just came in. Well, let me have it, hey. Uh, it's got a lieutenant with it. What lieutenant? Well, I think that'd be our psychological warfare specialist from General Harnett's. Uh, table of organization requires one. It's a new directive. You read it, sir. Oh, yes, yes. All right, Toffee, bring him in. And Toffee, try not to say hey to the lieutenant, if you can help it. Right, Major. Hey, lieutenant! Parker? Wattsburg, Finley, sir. I've been expecting you, Lieutenant. Captain Alavilli. How do you do, sir? Okay. Oh, your uh, distribution packet, sir? So you're the new psycho specialist, huh? Covert warfare psychological specialist, yes, sir. What are you going to do for us, Lieutenant? Post the incident flow priority indicator, sir. Great. What's that? Allow me, sir. This, sir, is the indicator. A computer in Saigon will sift all intelligence reports and reduce the information to parables, ratios, and mean averages, whereby we shall be able to assign defense priorities. That is, sir, the incident flow indicator will indicate which of your outposts is the most endangered. I'll enter that name on the indicator here, condition red. Number two will be condition orange. Number three, Condition yellow. You mean you are going to tell us where the VC will attack before they do it? With reasonable accuracy, sir. That'll be the goddamn day. I assure you, sir, it works remarkably well. Toffee! Where shall I hang it, sir? Stick it over the door. Excellent. Very... Prominent, sir. I'll make the first entries tomorrow, sir. I can't wait. Stop. See the lieutenant has quarters in a place out there to work. Sure. Thank you, sir. Where are we, Al? 
I mean, geographically, where are we? Vietnam, Penang, sir. You sure we're not in a loony bin? Sometimes I get the feeling we're in a goddamn loony bin. Sergeant. Lieutenant. Makwa. It's almost time for the helicopter. Let's move out. Lieutenant, hold on just a minute. Cowboy, BARs. Feel him. Not fed day. Nangia, Nangia here. Let him out. Boy, show him. Toy down. Take a shot. Go to the home. Into ya? Theo tôi. Okay, Lieutenant, we go in fast and lay some smoke for the choppers. Move out. Shack up in there next to him. Lincoln, find yourself a hospital somewhere. Percy, yo! Have all three points of the triangle, man, and ready in 15 minutes. Yes, sir. Excuse me for taking over like this, sir, but we got to get this garrison shaped up before Charlie. Night. That's Charlie time. Fine, Sergeant. What can I do? You make yourself comfortable, sir. You're the officer. Cowboy! Yes, sir. Assign every man a place on the wall. I want all the underbrush cut down. Nobody sleeps tonight, not till we find out what kind of asshole situation we got here. Now let's move it along. Come on, boys, chop it up. Let's go, let's go. Lights are coming, baby. Move it up. French, Corporal? Fairly well, sir. 
I think it refers to the Battle of Thermopylae, where the 300 Spartans died trying to hold the pass. If you remember your Greek history, sir. Yeah. It says, roughly, stranger, when you find us lying here, go tell the Spartans we obeyed their orders. I think there's 300 French buried here. I'll count them first chance I get, sir. Hey, Major. Hey, Major. We got communication established with Mekwa. Well, read it to me, hey. Operation Blaze to blah, blah, blah. French fortifications in usable condition. Team morale excellent, no enemy contact, standing operating procedures in effect. We shall do our duty. Lieutenant Hamilton, our commander, Operation Belize. Let me have it. OK, Tommy. We shall do our duty. Jesus Christ. You better get some aerial photographs of this place. I'm blown up in detail. I want to know how it lies, like I know the wrinkles on my face. Okay, Major. Why are you leaving three gates in the walls? You're giving the enemy too many ways to break in. Sir, them gates is for us to break out of, if and when the time comes. Don't worry about Charlie breaking in. He'll come over these walls like a forest fire. Over the barbed wire? Well, sir, the dinks don't feel any pain. The barbed wire just makes them itch a little. That's hard to believe, Sergeant. Well, sir, I hope you don't have to see it to believe it. Well, three gates. That's fine. Excuse me. Then it's got quick step. Yeah, well, he'll get over it. Some do and some don't. Me, I think the lieutenant's on the don't side. Attack. Well, let's make damn sure before we start shooting. No, shoot first. Wait, wait a minute. We'll take a look first. Rodea. Some kind. Tell your men to lower their rifles. Tell them. Ball. Shom Suan. Wrong, sir. The communist people. You'll see. Hold my rifle. I am. I am your friend. Tell them. Interpret. Doi la bang. I'm. I'm not going to hurt you. Interpret. Doi la bang. Yeah. I have some chocolate. I have some chocolate. It's good.
Chocolate. It's good. It's all right. That's good. Try a piece, hmm? please. It's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> Here's a piece for you. for you? Say Kong, sir. Who cares? They're hungry. Here you go. <laughs> She's nice. What are you, the Pied Piper? God damn it, Corsi, I send you out to map the fucking jungle trails. You come back with a bunch of sick-looking dinks. What the hell am I supposed to do with them? Say Kong. They're refugees. Ah, say goddamn lie. They Kong family. No, they're not. What is it, Sergeant? Who are these people? Of course he dragged them out of the pucker bush. Cowboy, give them rice and run them off. Now, just a moment. Now, your attitude is wrong, Sergeant. Ah. It is part of our job here to win the hearts and minds of the people. Sir. We will make them welcome. Sir, you don't understand. I understand my duty, Sergeant. Well, Corporal Lincoln, take these ladies to the hospital and get my health check. Corporal Corsi, I'll make you responsible for seeing they have food and shelter. Sir, Cowboy says this is a Kong family. They don't look like communists to me. Sorry, I've been in this fucking war for three years. I still don't know what a communist looks like. Corporal Corsi, were these people armed in any way? No, sir. Well, there you are, Sergeant. Carry on as directed, Corporal Lincoln. Oh, boy, tell the slopes to follow me. Lincoln, you better pop that little cunt full of penicillin before the whole barracks comes down with a clap. Viva! Berlin! 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 No, sir. Moon Tau is definitely declining in incident ratio. My flowchart indicates that the next concentrated offensive will be against Bujum. There hasn't been a shot fired in Bujum in three months. Sir, if you wish me to explain the incremental digital contingencies and the compatible logistical projections by which the flowchart has arrived red for Bujum. Forget it. Forget it. It's got the toughest fortifications of any of the outposts. And Charlie knows it. Hey! Hey, Major. Where are you going? I mean, just in case I get some traffic. I'm going to Penang to a boom boom joint and get my ashes home. Okay? Sure. Okay. Thanks. Back by Charlie time. World War II. What? That's what I call a major. World War II. Precisely. How many? I just saw one. <laughs> right over there. Move it! Move it! Get all three points! Come on! Move your ass! Move it! That's 
That's pretty good. Little mothers might give Charlie a show at that. Come on! Was that another drill, Sergeant? No, sir. We got a contact. Enemy scout overlooking us from the hill. I spotted him in the cemetery, sir. He left this uh, note. Charlie likes to leave calling cards, sir. Better set ambush patrols tonight and every night. Of course, Sergeant. I'll leave one myself. You might want to wait till you feel a little up to it, sir. Of course, you'll take one patrol tonight. Cowboy will take the other. Yeah, I think you ought to get off your feet, sir. Just stay sort of quiet. Yes, sir. We might not get much sleep tonight if Charlie probes us. Yeah. Well, I'll be in my quarters if you need me. Yes, sir. Amoebic. Yeah. Seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, team in liberty, dedicated to the proposition all men are created equal. Brave, uh, men Struggle here have consecrated it far above our poor powered and our distracts. He's safe. Get up, you doped up bastard. We got wounded gooks on our hands. That's a girl. Hey, okay. Major. Yeah? Signal, sir. <clears throat> Come on in. Well, 
some coffee. Thanks. Okay, shoot. Uh, <clears throat> Mungtown had a couple snipers last night, that's all. Lieutenant What's-His-Face moved Mungtown down into the yellow. Red's in the clear now. I had a signal from Lieutenant Hamilton about that little action over at Mukwa last night, if you want me to read it to you. Mm. Go ahead. From Operation Blaze to Thunderhead, sir, we have met the enemy, and they are ours. <coughs> you dirty rat, you sneaked up on me. I don't believe it. I swear to God. That's what he says. What else does it say? Uh, signal goes on to say the attack consisted of 12 rounds of mortar fire. There were two light casualties. Mortar was knocked out by an ambush patrol led by Corporal Corsi, four Kong killed. Corsi, huh? Hmm. Though Drafty got himself bloody. Well, what do you know? Commend Hamilton and tell him to pass it on to the Drafty. Yes, sir. Hello, little girl. <laughs> what you doing, Corporal? Short and fuse is to one second for the sergeant. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He's going to plant grenades in front of the barbed wire with trip loops on it. How do you feel, sir? I'm oh, fine, Corporal. I'm about recovered from my bout. Corporal? That little girl standing out there in the rain. Well, what does she want? I think she wants me. She's joking. She's just a child. Cowboy says she's 14. Well, you're not going to, Corporal. That's strictly against the rules for us. No, sir. I'm not going to. Oh, sir. I uh, finally got those graves counted. Exactly 302. The brave men, Corporal. They fought the battle and lost. But we won't lose. But we're Americans. leaves on before I'm 28. And we'll have my eagles before I'm 32. When I'm 38, I'm going to have a star. Maybe two. General Alfred, by God, Olivetti. That's my schedule, sir. <laughs> Very proper schedule, Al. Very proper indeed. Just like an express train. And you'll do it, too. You'll do it because you got the, you got the coal and you got the steam. And watch out for those fucking block signals. Well, how, how do you mean, sir? Well, did you ever ask yourself, Al, why, after two wars and a bucket full of medals, I'm still a major? Well, I wasn't going to ask that, sir. Booze and pudenda. Well, I could handle the booze all right. But it was the pudenda that got me. I don't know that word, sir. Well, in bladder circles, I think they call it pussy. <laughs> don't laugh, son. Listen. In the Pentagon, there's a secret vault, and nobody has the key but the chief of staff. Where's it around his neck? And in that vault is a list of names of officers who are not gentlemen. Now, any time an officer comes up for promotion, the chief steals into that vault and runs down the list. If the officer's name is on that list, zap. No promotion. I'm on that list. I'm not a gentleman. Oh, I was once, yes, but... Uh, there's a certain general. I won't tell you his name or how many stars he wears. But I was his aide for a while, right after moving up to Major. He had a wife, you know, some 20 years younger than he. And I guess he wasn't up to snuff in the conjugal department. Because it wasn't long before I found myself being groped. But I was a gentleman, Al. And this was my general's lady. 
And I try to be courteous and remain upright at all times. But shit. How long can a fellow remain upright when he's being crawled all over every time the general goes out to take a pee or something? Not long, right? Well, finally, I screwed up. Big mistake, Al. Big mistake. I thought I'd cool her off some, but it turned out that I got hooked. She was the hottest thing I ever had in all my life. Thereafter, I found myself humping her on any and every occasion in all fashions known to men. And one night, there was a big to-do at an embassy in Washington. And I accompanied the general and his lady. A very prestigious affair. Even the president was there. And while the general was brown-nosing around the president, the lady and I slipped out into the garden. You know what a gazebo is? Well, it's a big birdcage piece of junk that sits in gardens, covered with rose vines. The lady and I slipped quietly into this dark little bower as she sat with her back to the door while I remained standing, keeping a sharp lookout all around. Whereupon she proceeded to make love to me, orally. Well, as you well know, it comes a time in the sexual encounter when a fellow is apt to lose interest in the surroundings, which is precisely what I was guilty of doing. And when things swam into focus, the first thing I saw was the general standing in the arch, pink roses all around his old gray head, Next to him was the ambassador's wife, and you know who. The president? Of the United States, on a tour of the embassy gardens. Jesus H. Christ. There are stronger words for that situation, Al. Like gee whiz, and oh gosh, and golly. Because the lady with her back to the door didn't know they were there. And she had not yet ceased operations. And that's why, after all these years, I'm still a major. What'd you do? Do? When you saw him standing there. I did the only thing I've ever been trained to do. I saluted. you're doing in my office posting the incident flow priority indicator sir. this hour of the goddamn night i thought it was important sir mokwa what the fuck is mokwa doing in yellow the parables oh screw the parables mokwa's nowhere Kong don't give a shit about mokwa if you'll permit me to explain sir you're just trying to make trouble for me you know that goddamn it sir there's a definite general converging of incidents toward the vicinity of mokwa sir Get up off the goddamn floor. Okay. Present, sir. Get back around the hall. Maybe they're asleep, sir. They can't afford to sleep. Wake them up. I got calm up too soon. I'm bugging off before they cut us off from the river. As soon as we hit the water and clear the bank, tear the goddamn jungle up behind us. You read me, Mokwa. Over. Over. Right, by Olio, we'll cover. He's retreating to the river, sir. He wants cover fire to make the crossing. How can I do that? Cowboy, give me a fire team. At least to here with a machine gun. Good, good. Sergeant Nien. Come on, cowboy. Ding Lud! So 
George? No. Get the fire team back. We're coming in now. Sergeant, Sergeant, you left one of your men out there. Well, Christ, Christ Lieutenant, we wasn't looking back. I'll get him in, sir. Damned if you will, Corsi. Charlie zeroed in on him, just waiting for a sucker. I'll get him myself, Corporal, but thank you for volunteering. Didn't you hear what I said? You're not in command here, Sergeant. You don't see any of those gooks running out there for him, do you? God damn it, he's there, buddy, not ours. You will lay down an enfilade fire, and I'll go out under it. Enfilade, defilade, Charlie's like a mole, God damn it. They're dug in by now. You better listen to me. Carry out my orders, Sergeant. He's crazy. Sir, sir, listen. He stopped calling. He's probably dead by now. Don't you see I have to go out there, Corsi? Don't you see that? Sir. Cover him. I'm fine. By God, Aza, I was right. They don't want us in Mokwa. They don't want us anywhere, sir. Aza, it's a key defense point. Look how quick the Kong moved in. The Kong moved in because they knew it was a weak point, sir. What's your reaction time for your reinforcements? With luck, I can get air support in about 30 minutes. I'm not talking about air support. I'm talking about infantry. Bodies, fella. How long does it take for you to get your reinforcements in there? Two or three days, maybe. Where the hell are your reserves? Bangkok? Sir, I have to get my reserves from the province chief, Colonel Min. Colonel Lardass Min. Well, ask him. I'll be ready to move. I have to make a deal with him, sir. He don't let support for nothing. Christ! We're trying to help these people fight the Reds, and they throw blocks into us. The only way we're going to win this war is to get United States combat troops in here. But you do what you have to do to get those reserves and beef up Mukwa. God, we can't let those scroungy little jungle buggers chase the American Advisory Command over post. Can we? Sergeant, we're ready to bury the lieutenant, sir. Sir? You ready? We're gonna bury the lieutenant. Dumb jerk off. Well, we can't just shovel dirt on him. Look, you, you've buried men before. You know what to say. What to do when you're in command now? Shit on it. What's the matter with you? Look, um, you owe it to the lieutenant to honor him. The man he was trying to save was in your squad. You left him out there in the mud. He was a dink. I'm sick and tired of the goddamn fish stinking dinks. Of course he... 
I was soldiering when you were crapping in your diapers. Don't you tell me how to do my job. Get the fuck out of here. Sarge. We may be kid. I've had it. take this? About a um, half hour ago, I guess. Okay. Still want that CIB? You're the new commander of Mukwa. Chopper's taking you in. Take a look at this. They hit, they'll hit from the north, from the west. Concentrate your defense on those two fronts. Yeah. Right. Yes, sir. I'll get my gear together. Oh. I read the signal on Olio, sir. It's too bad it going off the rocket like that. A bit war wasn't worth it. All that kid happened to me. Al, if I can't wangle reinforcements out of Colonel Lardass, you bug out of there at your own discretion. Run like hell. That'll be the end of my career, sir. Hardman's to see to that. I'll take care of Hardman's. Just don't be a hero, Colonel. Comment allez-vous, Major? Very well, thank you. Ha. A drink? Always. Ha. To the U.S. of A. I thank you. To the Republic of South Vietnam. Ah, merci. Merci beaucoup. Uh, please, see. Thank you. The Colonel has considered your request for 300 additional troops, but at this time, it is not possible. There is rumor of a coup in Saigon. The colonel must hold all of his troops in readiness for support of the president. I appreciate the colonel's situation. But I need reinforcements for a place called Makwa. Before the colonel makes an absolutely final decision, let me add this. A relief column going into Makwa would need artillery. Now, the American Advisory Command has no artillery in this province. But Colonel Min has. Allow me. The Colonel has a battery of howitzers situated here. To protect the old road from the south going into Penang. That battery will move 30 miles to the east on the road to Phnom Penh. They would be within range of Mukwa. Now, I realize that the colonel would be using precious ammunition on a rather unimportant post. Uh, but if the colonel could spare the troops I need, I will have 500 rounds of howitzer shells brought in by air transport and 1,000 rounds delivered by truck convoy. Nay, quite enough. 
It would take four or five days for the truck convoy to bring the shells from the American depot. That could conceivably be too late for their use, could it not, Major? Could be. In such a case, the American depot would desire the return of the shells, would it not? In the whole history of the United States, they have never asked for the return of anything, be it guns, money, boats, or how it's a shell. They wouldn't know how to ask for the return of anything. If they did, it would screw up the bookkeeping. And everybody in Washington would have a goddamn nervous breakdown. You tell the colonel, if he gets his hands on the ammo, it's his forever. from our American Revolution. It means to victory. <laughs> merci, merci. You got anything from Corsi? No, sir. VC and they got hardware. We'll be ready for him. You tell Corsi to dog him long enough to see if they get across the river, then get his ass back in here. Shoot a signal off to Penang, tell him we want flare ships and air support on standby. Cowboy, get outside and shake the farmers down. Yes, sir. Charlie's crossing the river. Now he's within mortar range. You want to try a hit? Over? Hell yes, let's try it. Let the bastards know we're on to him. Give me the range and direction. On the map, he's crossing in the middle of the third bend above the fort. Set your range for 2,000 yards. I'll talk you on target after the first round. Signal when you're ready to fire, over. When we get to range, get out of there, Corsi. They'll know they're being observed, and they're gonna be on your butt, boy. Stand by, out. Spray left and right for effect. Drop 200, fire left and right for effect. Swung, I go. Bay, bay, day. Bang, bang, bang. I'm bugging out. Uh, 
Damn it, Wattsburg, every time I see you, it means bad news. What the hell is it now? Sir, Mook was in the red, sir. Captain Olivetti's requested flare ships and air support on standby. Intelligence reports that the 507th VC Battalion may be closing on Mukwa, sir. Is that all? I'll bet you got some more goodies for me. Yes, sir. Nighthawk Control reports they can't send up flare ships because General Harnitz has grounded all helicopters and planes on request of the Saigon government. An attempted military coup is expected, sir, and all our air support's going to be needed to suppress the insurgents in Saigon, sir. You can turn in now, boys. What are you going to do, sir? I don't worry. I'll think of something. What's going on? I just keep hammering for air support, sir, but Nighthawk just keeps saying negative, negative, negative. Let me have the key, Tommy. General Hunnett's call numbers. FFZT. This is the code book, sir. Fuck it. Shocking, sir. It's unthinkable that any officer would address such a message to his commanding general. What would you like to do about it, sir? Sir? Captain, there are things in heaven and earth in the army. They didn't teach you at Virginia Military Institute. This here is one. There's some soldiers who bought the rat with their blood to say anything to anybody in a just cause. Now, military coup or no military coup, you hop ass over to the combo room and fire off a signal to Nighthawk Control to put some air support over Mogwa. Yes, sir. Because apart from the fact that maybe I got old Hazel stretched pretty thin up there, that crazy son of a bitch might just do what he says here. Shoot my balls off. Move over. You sit down in that box over there. Your beat. Being shot through the flesh. Lucky. Hasn't lost much blood. These little mothers are tough. You can't believe what I've seen them take and get up and trot the next day. You can't worry about him, Corsi. You better learn that. You better get hard. They don't know what you're doing here or what they're doing here. The slopes out there shot him. They don't know any more than he does. They could change places and not know the difference.
him, sir. Blaze tonight, Hawk. What's your position and what do you got? Over. You got it, baby. CRB. Shot. I want you to take the convoy back to Panay. 
I'll radio Olivetti from the chopper that we're coming in to exfiltrate the team. I want them ready to go the minute we touch down. Understood. Be careful, sir! What's work? You love your commanding officer? Well, yes, sir. That's fine, because I love you too. Sir, my men, they say they ride in helicopter to Penang. They're going to do what they're paid to do. They're going to help these farmers bug out of here tonight, and you're going to be in command. Sir, I am interpreter, number one interpreter. I go with you. He can interpret all right. You tell him they set one goddamn foot toward that chopper and the machine gunner will cut him in half. I hear it, sir. They're getting ground fired. Git! Alight. Alight. Get out of here before he loses that way and they swamp the chopper. Get the wounded aboard. Come on, keep it moving. Keep it moving. All right, let's go. We've got to hit the hydraulic line. We've got to leave these walking wounded behind or I'll never get this heap off the ground. Okay, okay, I got you. Right, now back, back. Move back. Come on, back. Get away from the ship. Sorry, sorry. Pilot says no, he can't handle it. Just not enough room for bullet. Now get back. Get back. Come on, move. Sorry, sorry. Sir, are you going to leave these wounded soldiers behind? Pilot can't handle it. He runs the ship. Now get aboard. No. What? I said no, sir. Corporal. My orders are to exfiltrate all American personnel. Now get aboard that ship. Look, boy, it's their war and it's their country. We've done all we can do here. They're gonna rip this place off. Hey, Major, come on, for Christ's sake. I gotta get it up. I'm giving you an order, soldier. Get your ass on that ship. Take her up, goddammit. Come on, Major. Get back, get back. about you, Cossie. I should have figured it right off. You got it written in great big letters on your goddamn forehead, H-E-R-O, hero. You're a fucking hero. I'm sorry, sir. I just didn't see how we could leave these people behind. We brought them out here. How'd they do in the fracas last night? Fine, sir. This character still getting his jollies out of torturing dinks? Couldn't have done it without him, sir. 
You're screwing this kid? No, sir. Well, if we're going to break out of here tonight, we better start planning it. Aerial photographs show that this, this gully runs back here about a half a mile, then flattens out into a meadow. Do you know it? Yes, sir. That's the way we'll go. The province chief's got a bunch of 155 howitzers ready to blow hell out of this neck of the woods tonight. If I can get the son of a bitch to use his ammo, Charlie be too busy ducking shells to worry about us. You sure you're not screwing this kid? Yes, sir. Somebody ought to. Bring him along, cowboy. Here thou. Marlin, Marlin. Marlin. That is all, sir. You sure? I don't want to leave one goddamn thing that Charlie can use. Certainly, man. You spike the mortars? Yes, sir. We'll spike the machine guns five minutes before we shove off. Okay, cowboy. You seem to know what you're doing. I was trained in demolition, sir. So you said. How about it, Corporal? How about what, sir? What the fuck are you doing in Nan? Does it bother you, sir? Well, now, it doesn't bother me to the extent that I can't live without knowing. But we don't get many draftees here, not yet anyway. And in particular, we don't get any of your kind. Well, sir, it started with a dog. You mean abroad? No, canine, sir. Just a little black dog with a curly tail. We used to tie him in the furnace room during inspection time. But he got loose this one time and trotted in the barracks and took a liking or disliking, maybe, to the inspecting officer, wet on his boot. The officer kicked the dog, and I kicked the officer. You kicked the officer? It was just a reflex, sir. Well, he was pretty nice about it, really. He could have court-martialed me or sent me to prison. He gave me a choice. Vietnam. Very generous. Very generous indeed. What was the officer's rank? Sir? The officer's rank, Corporal. Uh, Brigadier General, sir. Now, that's a cock and bull story if I ever heard one. It did happen. But also, maybe I just wanted to see what a war was like. That's more like it. You know what you are, Corsi? You're a tourist. Too bad we couldn't have shown you a better war, like hitting the beach at Anzio or smashing through the Bastogne with Patton. That was a tour worth the money. This one? This one's a sucker's tour. Going nowhere, just round and round in circles. Get on with the job, Corporal. Try to run away, sir. Say Kong. You look. They steal guns. Say Kong. You killed the kids! Whoa, easy, Corsi. You look, sir. You look. Sorry, sir. I say to Corporal Corsi, these communist people. He 
Hey, okay. Hey, okay. Hey, okay. Give me that flashlight. I count eight. I thought there were nine. Nine, sir. That little girl is missing. Search the camp. Yes, sir. It's the man. Theodore. Marlin. Marlin. Okay, Corporal. Let's get moving before old Lodass opens up with his howitzers. We got ten seconds. Machine guns? It's done, sir. It's a Kong girl. We not find her. We can't hang around and worry about that. You lead off. Take the wounded. Hang about. Speak. Come on, hurry. as I can make out. We'll rest here for a minute. We're well protected just in case those howitzers get their triangulations wrong. He stopped his mortars. He's getting ready to take the fort. Charlie's fighting goddamn feathers for a change. Come on, Lodash, you're on. Let's go fast, soldier.
Where you hurt, kid? I don't know. I feel blood running down my legs. Maybe you just crap your britches. I have very strong sphincter muscles, sir. The little mothers are coming for us. storm to hit parts of the northwest. If the model holds true, the Interstate 84 corridor area will be in the bullseye. Spokane, 
Helena, Boise, and even Seattle could also get buried in a 24-hour period and could top the so-called Knickerbocker Storm, the region's worst on record. After a theater where the roof was killing 100 people, more recent memory, there was snowpocalypse and snowmageddon in 20... Storms just days apart crippled the Northeast. And meteorologist Tom is tracking what's to come in the city. Tom, how confident are you this is going to be one for the history books? Steve, Steve, here's a word of advice. I know you got shows the rest of the week, and you're showing the Saturday. Well, pack more than a weekend in a weekend bag. The Knickerbocker storm dropped 28 inches. And this could be more. We are going to be hammered by a truck. Hill force winds and possible whiteout conditions as the storm builds through the roof. And it could come more than once. We could have a wave of storms over the entire world. signal out here. Did you make the ambient in Xanax bottle? I'm gonna need something to sleep on the plane. I think you turn on the next one. Guys, it's this one coming up. He's right. Turn, Paul. Now he's been here twice and he can remember.